Understanding the investment principles with access all areas. Charlene, a black woman with short hair and glasses, is standing in front of a brick wall which is covered in framed posters and news articles about work made by Access All Areas Theatre Company. I'm Charlene Saunter, co-chair of Learning Disabled and Autistic Theatre Company, Access All Areas. The Arts Council investment principles is how they choose a project for them to fund. So, what are the investment principles anyway? Some of our artists come for a workshop led by artist director Nick Llewellyn and access officer Katie Wheeler through activities and metaphors, how we explain what the four principles are. Our metaphors were a train for ambition and quality, body for inclusivity and relevance, a journey for dynamism and a flower for environmental responsibility. So this was just one way of how we made it accessible for some of our artists. A bit more intrigued on how we did it. Well, Watching the box. Several performers from Access All Areas Theatre Company are standing in a circle. Charlene is in the centre and she opens a box and light spills out. Charlene takes a piece of paper out of the box. The words ambition and quality are printed on it. Charlene sticks the paper to a display board. Also on the board is a picture of a train. Nick, the artistic director of Access All Areas, is a white man with short hair and glasses. He is leading the workshop. There is quite a clear way that all the projects in the company um, create a very, very long train. Text on screen says progression. The performers are standing in a line to represent a train. They speak one by one. So this is our train, okay. So we've got, we've also got John. Oh, John takes the yeah. workshop. Yeah, it, then yeah. we're going to... Spring back. Spring back. <laughs> Choo -choo. Good part, Good part of that. That car. That car. Diploma. Diploma. Performance company. Performance company. <laughs> And Take it over well. And, to, and everything. Yeah, everything. So getting in everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is our progression. This is our train spotter here. Okay. Taking notes. Text on screen says train spotter, understanding perceptions. One of the performers, Lee, is a black man. He is standing and miming as if he is holding a pair of binoculars up to his eyes. So this is about perceptions. How do we know that, that we're doing a good thing? Okay. So have a think. Make a still picture of what you think other people think about some areas. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Um, engaging. Pioneering. Groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. Video shows clips of performances from Access All Areas with press quotes. A powerful and resonant message. Very powered productions. Outstanding, captivating and heartbreaking. Theatre box. Anyone else now want to be the engineer? Back to the workshop, text on screen says engineer, measuring performance. So they work with the train spotter and they measure our performance. So people are telling us we're good, aren't they? But how do we know that? What is the way, what is the way we know that? Terry is a white man in a wheelchair wearing a cap and glasses. The people that come back to see before my kid after before my kid. Exactly, so when people keep coming back, the engineer is noting mm -hmm. how Mm -hmm. Many people came to see the show. Mm -hmm. Who keeps have you seen an Axel Larry show before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're kind of making all those all, all, yeah. all those statistics. Kian is a white man with long hair and a beard. Also, yeah. not just that people come back and see it, but some people. This has happened. Some people have been so blown away by our project that they've wanted to get involved in that for where is and want to be part of the team, yeah. which is which is a bonus. And what works well? Yes. A mm. gay promotion and what got them. Paul is a black man with a beard. It's celebrating um, our progress and, and getting like, daily feedback from, from people who, um, who we um, are coaching. Yeah, excellent. You've got the progression, make sure we've got clear progression and we've got clear mission and we know what we're doing. Then we've got, we're, we're checking in how other people see us. And we do that by making sure that we've got really clear ways with the engineer of getting feedback and making changes. Lee now opens the box. The text inclusivity and relevance appears on the screen. Inclusivity and relevance. 
So what does it mean to be inclusive? What does that word mean? No, inclusive means we accept everybody and we include everybody. Think about why, you know, how hard we have had to work to be included, you know, think about really why we're doing this, you know, politifies our, our kind of um, work. So we're gonna think about um, the heart area, okay? Pinned to the display board is the outline of a human body. The words heart equals community appear on the screen. And we're thinking about inclusion, okay? And the heart represents our community because the community is the heart of axial areas. How do we include people? I feel like we gotta be the bigger voice for the take part group because they haven't got your confidence or um, the way of speaking out. So I feel like us as the performance company and different parts we got to have the bigger voice for the tech part too. That is very true and I think that's where it comes to about role models and also we're speaking on behalf of, of communities that, that have very limited access to, to speaking out. Yeah. We're always representing our communities um, in every area, whether it's public speaking, training, consultancy, yeah. being a co-facilitator, television work it's we're always thinking about the, the wider community yeah. and, and including them in all of the conversations the words head equals workforce leadership and governance appear on the screen thinking about management we're thinking about the workforce we're thinking about who works for actual areas which also includes the artists as well because you know you're all paid for certain jobs how do we make sure we're inclusive when we're thinking about the management of the company sometimes when you got some sort of information you get and it's like you don't understand it and it's too much to bear it in mm -hmm. it's good to be reminded and also be sure that it's easy read as you can understand a bit more to making sure that we've got easy read agendas mm -hmm. we've got pre-meetings to discuss, discuss what's going to happen beforehand and you've got support uh, in the meeting as well the words legs equals creative case for diversity appear on the screen so, what we're going to do here, again, is write down how are we inclusive when it comes to being creative and using our diversity and the diverse groups that we work with to create all the different projects that we create. All shows interactive and relaxed. Who wrote this? Okay, Terry, tell us all about that. Well, we make the audience react to what we are doing and we ask them questions if that's part of the show and also we make it react so it's not like a Shakespeare play when the audience have got to be like we want shouting we want emotion passion yeah Claire is a white woman with red hair and glasses. She opens the box and the words environmental responsibility appear on the screen. What's that? Environmental responsibility. On the display board is the drawing of a plant. Environmental responsibility. Yes. Okay, so here we have our plant. So any thoughts, what do we need to kind of give it what, strong roots? What we use for sets and that we recycle. Taking your responsibility seriously when it comes to your robbers. John is a white man with long dark hair tied back in a ponytail. That kind of sense of encouragement, like relating to that. Um, if you can write down what things we could do as actual areas, thinking about the projects and the way of working, the office, the workshops, the shows, what could we do to make sure that we are uh, doing better for the environment? Really? So should we have a little chat about these? So what could we do better? Charlie, would you like to say your first one? <laughs> so could we plan a get-together to talk yeah. about this? Um, you know, just get together and just talk because, you know, for some of us it's very hard to talk and to know what's going on, so I think, it, you know. Heather is a white woman with long red hair and glasses. Yeah, and yeah. it's true because this is a thing that's become big, especially in the last five years, but mm. there's quite a lot of confusion still around about it, isn't it? So. Yeah. 
even yeah. just talking through what the issues are and helping to understand that more. Mm-hmm. If we want to do all of these brilliant things, and of course we should be doing all of them, are there things that actually kind of go against um, these ideals because of people's access needs and interventions that we have to do to make sure that we're all able to get here and be well and to understand what's going on? I know it'd be yes pollution if I did it. Mm. You'd catch um, and more money for you guys. <laughs> but, but, um, yeah, it just, my access needs, yeah, could yeah. get my views on pollution. Yeah. How do we know that we're doing this well? How can we measure our success? Where you put a ring line where you are up to and go up, 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 yeah, a full meter. Great, and we maybe do it as a plant thermometer. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a really good idea because it, cause it will show us here yeah, to see what, what we can like develop or improve. We could do more like individual p- people. Paul opens the box. The word dynamism appears on screen. Dynamism. <laughs> Kian is playing the part of a traveller. Kate, a white woman with long, light brown hair, is leading the workshop. We're going on a journey. Yes, exactly. Speaking of journeys, journeys. we're all going to go on a journey. Let's all see if we can get behind our traveller here. Because this, this is us. Yeah. So Kian is representing us. So take a step forward for me, yeah, Kian. Yeah, you. Yeah, take one step So on the floor in front of us. Several objects are arranged on the floor. A few things that we need to pack. So what do we need for this journey? Well, first of all, a map is something we need. Travel. We need to really think through where we're going. Yes. Mm. We need a plan. This is our plan, our business plan. Okay. Yeah. So we want to put this in the backpack. Oh God. <laughs> Very important. Pop that in the backpack. <laughs> Lovely. Compass. Yeah, a compass. We need. Compass. We need to know where we're going. Where we're going, it means um, where do we want to take the company, mm-hmm. and what mm-hmm. we are trying to mm-hmm. say, mm-hmm. and what we want to mm-hmm. bring to the other mm-hmm. audience mm-hmm. for accessibility. In the backpack. So why have I got a first aid kit here? Because there were loads of obstacles in the in the, in the way that might hurt us and might health and but, safety, yeah. health and safety. Yeah. So when we come into those bumps and those obstacles, we can find a way over them, okay? But keeping ourselves safe. Okay, go for it, Claire. Hopefully it fits through the gap. (laughs) We also have our torch here. So what could that represent? We shine the light through the darkness. We give people hope. Nice. We give, yeah. You always say, find the light. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. And again, we've got our water bottle here. Yeah, it's reusable. The water kind of reflects that flexibility and stuff. Yeah. Kate gestures to a table which is in front of the performers. This is going to represent some of these obstacles, okay? Sometimes we get stuck, okay, behind that obstacle. We might get stuck in the mud, okay? So what ways do you reckon we can get stuck? Money, not having enough yeah. money, mm-hmm. not having, not being able to get the funding. Struggling, um, to, struggling to make money, yeah. yeah. Uh, confidence might be knocked over because of things that are going on. Yeah. Our mental health can be a barrier if, if things are really bad. Um, yeah, yeah. Trust us, my yeah a bit of trust, yeah. yeah. People not trusting us. Time and deadlines. So how are we gonna get around this table and get on our way? I think it's a thing of like planning something and making that plan to make things happen so that we mm. find a way out or over it to kind of Cross that barrier. And thinking about those barriers before they happen. Mm. Yeah. You get to go past the table. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So how how do we get back uh, past that barrier of people not being involved, people not knowing who we are? Uh, we just need to um we just need to um advertise us more. Do what do we do more of what we're doing um yeah. on the um on online and you know so more people find out about us. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's yeah. the solution. You can go past the table. Thank you. Enjoy, 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 enjoy. Even throughout the pandemic, I'm not we am still kept kept on. We did it all on Zoom, so all the all the um 
you know, the time to, you know, the process of developing and stuff mm. is all on Zoom. We do some voice notes on WhatsApp. Yeah, WhatsApp, yeah. Mm -hmm. So those, that's the good adapting and that being fluid thing, flexibility. Yeah. Is definitely a way to get through those barriers. Mm. So you two can go on the other side of the table. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to take away from this um, that um, that um, you know in the board meetings to make sure when we have meetings to make sure that every single sector that we that we talk about is actually in the meetings. So making sure that you know. Ambition and quality, inclusive and better Darwinism, and you know, just to make sure here yeah, that I'm, you know, going to put him forward and that. In in a word, um, overall, I think the word is change, um, and that's a positive thing as well, and how things can change for the better. So, yeah. Charlene is standing in front of the poster-covered wall again. You met our artists and how accessible we work to understand what your investment principles are. By activities and fun, we understood and participate and shared our own experiences. We hope that you watching could help you explore the investment principles in a fun and active way. Goodbye. Credits. Workshop team, Charlene Slater, Paul Christian, Claire Harris, John Fuller, Lee Phillips, Kean Binchy, Terry Hoggett, Nick Llewellyn, Heather Johnson, Katie Wheeler, Lucy Andrews. Video and editing, Ravel Dixon, David Parker. Producers, Joe Turnbull, Trish Wheatley. Commissioned by Disability Arts Online in consultation with Arts Council England.